century, African art provided avant-garde Western artists with an alternative artistic ancestry. This allowed them to reinvent their position in relation to their own tradition, to bypass worn-out academic formulas, and to reformulate the previous generation's move away from Renaissance modernism. It had to do with a different attitude, toward different attitude, art, toward different attitude art. toward making art. By combining, by combining different kinds of materials and conceiving of different kinds of space and different kinds of viewing conditions. Almost every major, almost every, almost every major modern, major modern artist had some engagement with African art. Many of them an intense engagement. Many of them an intense engagement. Many of them an intense engagement. In 1906, the massive European colonization of Africa had been going on only for about 25 years and was essentially in its first phase which consisted largely of effacing local, local cultures and replacing them with European administrative structures. Facing local, local cultures and replacing them with European administrative structures. Silewe, 
Shanti Akuba with uh, Clay Senecio of 1922 on the right. The Brancusi kiss seems to owe at least something to Luba headrests. You see this in the Prodigal Son of 1915, Gauguin's Oviri of 1893-95, Durant's standing figure of 1907.
European art since the Renaissance had been dominated by painting, by painting, and had been based on three main values, none of which was present in Africa. None of which was present, none of in, which African was present in African art. African art offered a more radical departure from naturalist representation of the human figure than even the most extreme works of Cezanne. The new vocabulary of forms, and most especially the radical reinvention of the human body that these European artists discovered in African art. And in fact, Picasso's creative misuse of African objects was an integral part of the innovations he would make only a year or so later with the invention of collage. In uh, the painting on the left-hand side, which is almost like a French model reconceived as a fallen figure seated in a chair. Strikingly, in the head of his portrait of his wife of 1913, which strongly resemble, resembles Punu Mas. And very strikingly, in Jeanette 5 of 1916, the last in a series of five sculptures, which he radically reinvented shortly after he had purchased the Balmana sculpture on the right-hand side. Picasso holds, Picasso holds a position of special importance. His engagement with African art was more overt than anyone else's, and he ranged more freely between morphological and conceptual responses to it.
Lights down, please. The relationship between African sculpture and modern Western art began around 1906 when African objects were found in curiosity shops such as this one.